Here are two studies about experts' treatment preferences for common scenarios. Before we look at the data, there's something important you should know about these experts. Like me, every one of them has made a promise to protect animals from pain and suffering. This means they want the same thing you do, a pain-free dog with a great quality of life. In this study, the experts are 305 board-certified specialists and 1,145 general practitioners. They tell us how they prefer to treat a client's dog, but they also tell us how they treat a dog owned by family or a close friend. This is a clever way to minimise any perceived financial conflict of interest. Every patient's an individual, so treatment recommendations varied. Even so, clinicians were more likely to recommend surgery regardless of the scenario. For instance, in a large breed dog with a complete rupture, only one of 190 clinicians avoided surgery. What if the scenario described a partial tear? Preferences were similar. Only 4% of experts avoided surgery. On average, clinicians preferred TPLO for large dogs and lateral suture for small dogs. But specialists had an overall preference for TPLO and most chose it for their own dogs. This subset of experts were four times more likely to choose TPLO than lateral suture. A second study assessed surgical preference in more detail. This is another consensus of experts. Every year, these surgeons collectively perform around 30,000 cruciate operations. Their hypothetical patients were dogs weighing over 15 kilos. These surgeons were five and a half times more likely to recommend TPLO than TTA. They were over 10 times more likely to recommend TPLO than lateral suture and tightrope combined. What can we take from these expert surveys? Here's the simplest take home message. Most experts would treat their own dog surgically. Experts who trust surgery for their own dogs also trust surgery for yours. Which operation do they trust the most? TPLO.